So looking at um, um, recently the Northern State Governors Forum, you know, they met in Kaduna here where they reviewed their the security situation in their states and uh, came up with, um, you know, some, some uh, suggestions that mm. they felt, you know, could help the situation. One of it was uh, they felt that um, uh, there was a need for the armed forces to uh, embark on what they called simultaneous operations and resolve uh, to share the plans of the frontline states. So is it that for now that is not happening? Well, um, to be fair to to be fair to the armed forces and then um, I don't know what the northern governors mean by simultaneous operation. Is Are they trying to say that the present situation, the present operations has been undertaken by the armed forces is not simultaneous well, enough. They, maybe they feel they are not, uh, they are operating as individual units and not, uh, you know, fighting together as a team. Um, the armed forces is one and the same. The, as far as the Nigerian armed forces is concerned, it's one and the same. The Air Force, the Navy and the Army under the defense headquarters. The Chief of Defense Staff, General Leo Irabo, has been is known to be a gallant officer, is known to be a fighter, a fighting professional officer, is known to be uh, a, a, a well-trained soldier. So the same goes to the chief of air staff. Uh, Amao is very known to be uh, one of the best pilots Nigeria is having as far as today is concerned. And also, um, even as at the time, he was, uh, be even before his appointment, during um, uh, the former chief of, uh, chief of defense staff, uh, the fire Petrin, recommended uh, Amao for, for a highly because of his professionalism. And also goes to uh, Yahayana of Farouk Yahaya, who is seen immediately, he's been appointed when he took over from Atahiru. He took the line of Atahiru, and you can see how the the banditry and as well as uh, what do you call the Boko Haram has been dislodged. These guys are working in synergy. The Nigerian armed forces of today is not the same of the Nigerian armed forces of when the former service chiefs were there. This was agreed that they are working for the country, they are working under a command, they believe in command and control, so they respect their superior, which is the chief of defense staff, they synergize among the armed forces, there is no competition between the Air Force and the Army, or between the Air Force and the Navy, or between the Navy and the Air Force. There is no competition. They agree that they are Nigerians, they are working for Nigeria, their responsibility is to protect the lives and property of Nigeria. So the tri service, most especially the head of the Tri service, the uh, 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 Amao, Farouk, and Awolu Gambo do respect each other and they also look up to General Leo Irabo as their overall uh, commander and they work in synergy and in team. And the operation has been simultaneous. It is not a situation where the Air Force will fight and the Army will come and claim uh, victory of the fight, or the Army will fight and the Air Force will come and claim victory or both will fight and the navy will come and claim victory or the defense chief of defense staff or defense headquarters is trying to coordinate and they are not cooperating with him no that is not the situation they are working in synergy they are working as team they work with due respect equal mutual respect to each other and agreeing that they are working for nigeria and they are fighting in the name of nigeria and that, that is their primary responsibility and they are working simultaneously at the same time under the same strategy so I think it is not fair for the governors to think that they are not working simultaneously or to even ask them to work simultaneously. These guys are doing the best they can in terms of fight against insecurity and insurgency. But then, let us assume that the governors are thinking of something else. That is what they mean by the word working simultaneously. But if it is to say working in synergy, working together as a team, working to fight insurgency and banditry and all security vices to succeed, I think the tri service in collaboration with the chief of defense staff are doing the best they can and we can only commend them for what they are doing but not try to even look as if they make it feel as if they are not working in synergy. No, that was in the past. But presently, they are working as a team, and that teamwork is yielding result. And you will agree with me that it is yielding result. Take, for example, the banditry in the Northwest. Once the Air Force go and do the bombardment, the land army go and do clear where the remnants that, that are down. And the Air Force never took credit for saying we are the one that did the bombardment, <laughs> or the land army never come to take credit that we are the one that did the clearing, or the defense headquarters never come to say it is uh, we, I am the one that directs them on what to do. No, it is a synergy between them, and they agree that they are working for Nigeria. So I think, uh, in fairness, 
in fairness to the armed forces, in fairness to, to, to the chief of defense staff, in fairness to the trial service, the chief of army staff, the chief of air staff, and the chief of naval staff, I think they are doing what they needed to do. The only thing the, uh, maybe the governors would, uh, would have said, in my opinion, though they have their opinion, they had their discussion, uh, they had security reports before them, they know more than I know as far as uh, security is concerned in their own various states. I, I, they know why they said what they said. But in fairness, I think the armed forces are doing their best. But if it is coming as an advice to them to please synergize more, if that is what they mean by simultaneously, to ask them to more to do more synergy, to work in more synergy, so that a better result can be achieved, okay. and the one we're achieving, fine. But otherwise, I can guarantee you they're doing all they needed to do, and we, I personally, and a lot of Nigerians are commending them for what they're doing. Okay, uh, so if there, there, there has been a, a sudden upsurge in you know the 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 strength that you see in the way that the armed forces you know go after this. Um, uh, armed groups how can you explain that sudden you know um uh, spirit that you see them you know really out to do away with these guys how can you explain that change in attitude well that was why uh in the last three years before the removal of the service chiefs in the last three years in the last two years in the last one year before they were removed i was at the forefront of requesting and demanding that they should be removed because you needed to inject new blood you needed to inject new thinking you needed to inject new strategy you needed to inject, inject new approach you needed to inject strategy you needed to inject harmony you needed to inject togetherness in the fight against insurgency which was what we lack in the past during the past uh, service chiefs because there was competition among them everybody is trying to claim victory on one fight or the other or one insurgent uh, dislodgement or the other are also looking to become the CDS and what have you. So that brought about a lot of competition and they, uh, to an extent the, the concentration on the fight was not there. They were, it's now becoming almost like an individualistic thing. But this time around you have service chiefs that are loyal to the CDS, that are loyal, complete loyal to the system, that understand and agree that they are working for the system, not for themselves, not for their um, uh, growth or anything. In any case, whoever that is in the armed forces that happen to be a service chief, he has got to the climax of his career, he should be proud and put in the best that he can put in in success. And this is exactly what is going on now. These guys, the present service chiefs, agree that they are working for the country, like I said before. So they are putting heads together, seminar here, seminar there, engaging people here, engaging people there, seeking for this advice, seeking for that advice, meeting with different kind of caliber of people, trying to get idea. They didn't say they know it best. They didn't say they know it all. They didn't say they are the only ones that can do it. They agree that they don't know everything. They agree that they needed to get ideas from others to be able to work. And that was why they embarked on various uh, movement from point A to point be discussing to this group to that group trying to get ideas from this group to that group and putting the ideas together and coming up with a strategy that will assist in fighting the insurgency and that is exactly what is happening now because of that strategy because of that synergy because of that cohesion because of that togetherness because of that loyalty because of that teamwork that is where we are seeing the result we are seeing today that the surge the fight against insurgency is like a new vigor, a new valor, a, a new a strategy, a new approach, a, you know, with hot blood facing it the way it is and dislodging them accordingly. I think uh, they are doing the, the, the needful. Okay. Um, <laughs> go back to what the, the governors, uh, you know, said. I want to refer to something that happened recently. And that's these um, sustained attacks in mm. Niger State mm. that, you know, Recently, over 30 people or so were said to have been killed by these um, uh, armed groups. So if we are seeing um, what is happening in Zamfara, why are we not seeing it in Niger State, for example? All Maybe right. it's things like that that would make the governors to be able okay. to talk okay. about okay. If that is more if, um, if, if that is the reason why the governors are saying they should work simultaneously, I guess uh, possibly, like you said, if there is serious 
upsurge in Zampara and the Katana. And then uh, also in the northeast, you are they are busy working on that part and also at the same time trying to uh, dislodge them. And then uh, possibly there's pocket of um, kidnappings in, Z uh, in Niger and possibly also in Kaduna. The difference is there. If that is the reason why the governors are saying they should work simultaneously, the difference is there. This one, the group is higher, bigger, and more tasky than the ones that are here. You understand that the ones that you find pocket of them in maybe Niger and also some part of uh, uh, Kaduna State. But that, be that as it may, it is not out of place for the armed forces to also budge in like, if that is what the governors are talking about simultaneously, then I can agree to, with them to an extent yes, there's need for a continuous and vigorous fight in all angles from all states at the same time but for the purpose of trying to bring those people together and bring them down if that is what they are saying i think it is not out of place it is in order but i'm also making uh, them and also everybody viewing to understand that uh, that was why i bring out the issue of number of our personnel that we're having in the armed forces the armed forces is understaffed ordinarily we're having 200 million nigerians uh, as a country approximately 200 million and then the number of the armed forces up to tomorrow is not up to 500,000. we are not the armed forces are not to half a family half a million and if the armed forces itself put together the tri service is not up to half a million there is a challenge when you come to issues like this how many personnel will you send to go and fight uh, or are already fighting in northeast how many are already fighting in part of the northwest how many are in the other part of the country and then how many are there doing the essential services of the armed forces in the barracks and then headquarters and what have you and how many are there in schools and on courses and things like that you must not have everybody out there must be uh, essential staff doing essential duty because that is the only way the job can go maybe here i can call on the president and commander and chief Muhammad buhari to seriously give room for the uh, trial service and the defense headquarters to consider recruiting more than the present level of recruitment where you will have a, a, at least a, a recruitment at a time for each of the service recruiting maybe 10 ten thousand at a time between now till the time you will be leaving uh, in six six months if we have two more years to go and then each of the service will be recruiting 10 ten thousand at a time for six months and there will be two recruitments per year that is to say you will have twenty thousand every year and if three of the service will do that possibly by the end of two years where he will be living we may be having like another two between 100 to 160 thousand uh, personnel added to the ones we are having possibly that uh, could go a long way he could even consider giving room for the recruitment of 20 20,000 in each recruitment because we needed the armed forces to solve the security situation that we're having if 26 state already is having security challenge i think giving room for 50 50,000 per recruitment will not be also too much and, honestly and then the ones fighting will not be overwhelmed and if ones that that is why i'm saying giving room because uh, the ones that are on the field already are already overwhelmed they are already overstretched it is because of the training the training is in them and they are trying to put in their best for their motherland or their fatherland to ensure that there is peace that is why they are giving their life but otherwise seriously the members of the armed forces are stretched and the number is too slow is too small we needed more at least out of we nigeria needed to have at least two million members of the armed forces at least to be able to handle security challenges even within or outside the country but where you have about less than five hundred thousand is a serious challenge same thing goes to the other security agencies like the police the dss uh the civil defense and even the immigration the customs and likes of them you needed to recruit okay. more to maybe, be able to maybe, handle internal maybe security. this this is one of the things that we should have been doing that we were not doing. We were not doing. Possibly that is part of, part of yeah. Uh, what are we supposed to be doing that we are not doing that is making us okay. to be continue to have the security challenges.